Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how can you connect your Salesforce organization with a Visual Studio Code. First of all, you have to install Apex package. Um, so in Visual Studio Code, after installing it, you can go to extension, this icon, and then search for so you have to search for Salesforce package and you will get Salesforce extension back. Install it. It contains a lot of sub extensions. This is uh, nine sub extensions. Uh, it will be installed automatically. After installation, it is recommended to restart your Visual Studio Code. So close your Visual Studio Code and reopen it again. Then if you click to Control, Shift and P, this will open something called command palette. Uh, if you forget the keyboard extension, you can go to view, command palette. Okay. And you can find now some commands like starting with sales for CDX, create project. Let's create our first project here. It will ask you for your project name. Let's say Salesforce Happy Corner. And let's um, place it in your desktop, for example. Okay, Salesforce heavy corner. Now we created our first project. Next, we have to connect um, Visual Studio Code with Salesforce organization. It's pretty easy, and you can do it quickly. Okay. Control Shift to be again and start searching for authorize an organization. So this is the command that will redirect you to your web browser so that you can enter your um, username, Salesforce username and password. And they give authorization to Visual Studio Code to use your organization. Enter. Now it will ask you if it is a production or sandbox or custom URL. Um, because I'm using a developer organization, it's a production, so I will select production. Um, so organization alias, we can say Salesforce Heavy Corner, HC for example, or H Corner. Okay. This alias will be displayed. Okay, I will show you later. It redirect me to the um, login page. And now you can see that it asks me for my username and the password. And because it's a production, you will find the URL here equal login to salesforce.com. If it is sandbox, it will be tested to salesforce.com or whatever your server um, URL here. Okay. Currently, in Visual Studio Code, telling me that authorize an organization and the authorization is running. But in my browser, it's asking me for verification code. Okay, wait me a second. I will verify my. Okay, here is my verification code. Now it's still running, authorizing a localization. After clicking allow, you will find what will happen here. Okay. So authorize an organization successfully and the alias I created is available here. So I am 100% sure it's connected to this organization. Okay, what's the next? We can, for example, create our first visual force page. Okay. So again, control shift and B is your friendly keyboard shortcut. Um, you can say create visual force page. If you couldn't find it, you can search and it will narrow down the options for you. Okay, and what is the name of Visual Force page? We can say my Visual Force page. And the directory is the default directory. You don't have to enter anything. Now we can delete this and we can say I would like to display a paragraph and this style is font size. You can also find if you click the control and space, it will auto-complete and suggest comments for you. So I will say it is 24 point 
and the content of the paragraph should be welcome this page created from Visual Studio Good. there is an important point here in your Visual Studio Code settings you can go to setting and it's important to do something let's search for deploy and you will find a extension here salesforce feature um, it's called push or deploy on save so when i save this page it should be pushed and deployed to my organization so if you don't like this feature disable this checkbox but i prefer to keep it enabled so that um, I can test my changes quickly. I don't have to save, then run a command to deploy. Um, so instead of clicking here and say deploy source to org, I will just cl click Control and S, and you will find automatically it is deploying source to org. Okay, let's check our org to, to make sure we have received the Visual Force page. So Visual Force page. And you will find here it has been created today. It has been um, with the same label I gave it. If I open that and if I click the preview, you will find my message. I created the paragraph I created here in this page. So also it is important to mention that pages created from Visual Studio Code is not by default available for Lightning experience. Um, to understand more at this point, let's go to service. Let's go to account, for example. And I would like to display this Visual Force page inside account page. So if I went to here, edit page, and selected Visual Force page, you will not find any page available to choose because our page that we just created is not available for lightning experience but if we click the edit and selected this one save now if i refresh the account app builder and edit the visual force page you will find it by default here you can set the height 100 for example you can disable showing label can say it 80 pixel okay um, save go back now it's available in the lightning page um, we can talk more later about how to create all a component and the apex classes and the triggers also, one of the features here, if you open the command palette, you will find the create apex class, create lightning group component, create aura component or apex trigger. Let me show you quickly how to create apex trigger. Let's call it account trigger. Just a quick demonstration for how to use Visual Studio Code. We are not training on how to create a trigger. So after creating the account trigger, automatically it created this three lines account trigger on s object now you have to change this object to an, an actual object in your system let's say account and before insert um i know it is not the best practice but let's make it quickly for the sake of this thing okay for account a and trigger dot new let's say a dot name equal um, I'm a new name, or let's say a description. Let's say any field here. I'm not using it frequently. Okay, let's say by default active will be equal yes. A dot active equal yes. So for any new account created, should be by default active. So before insert, 
you can adjust it to before update but here we will keep it before insert and it seems like active it can recognize active as a field okay in order to debug this error we can go to uh, object details and check active oh it seems like a custom field we created to be honest I am not sure when I created it but here is the ABI name of the active save okay now if I went back here and created new account let's say should run the trigger okay because it is before insert now I will keep active as none or let's say no and save by default it has been changed automatically to yes okay so in order to check the trigger itself in account uh, configuration page you can find the triggers here and you will find the account trigger has been created today and you can find your code okay so this is simply how to create uh, and connect Salesforce organization with your Visual Studio code also deploy on save I think this is a great feature to push or to play deploy on save saves me a lot of time uh, especially sometimes I made a quick uh, change and I would like to test it quickly so I just click Control S um, and instead of right click here deploy or whatever I'm not sure what other methods to deploy, to deploy. Um, I hope you enjoy the video and I promise I will I will publish uh, new videos to talk on details about how to create triggers apex classes lightning component and visual force page have a great day everyone